Hello there, Internet version 2 here with another Nintendo game. This time it's another Railway game as well. Wait for it, actually, you already know what it is. You've read the title of the video. It's Star Fox Adventures. If it would load, that is. Here we are. Owing! Oh, Crystalline of Clyde Runner, I think it is. Tricky, uh, Slippy, Peppy. Tr um, tricky again. A star from the, the Warp Stone. Um, um, I'm spoiling a lot of this game. Anyway, let's go into it. Oh, lucky. Alright, um. Now, I'll talk a, bit, a little bit about this game before we get started. This is nothing like Star Fox 64 or like Star Wing or whatever it is for the SNES. It's basically like a Zelda game, but it has stuff, but it uses Star Fox characters instead of Zelda characters. I love this game, but I've also, the only other Star Fox game that I've actually played where it's like a shooting game is Star Fox Assault, which is actually a sequel to this game, so I can't really judge it to the earlier games. You know what, we're just going to get right into this and start. There's other options in menus, but who gives a shit? Actually, one thing I will check. Do we have subtitles on? Your options. Screen ratio, rumble feature. Okay, but they're apparently the only options. What's this one? Hey, audio. Uh, set up, mono, restore defaults, and all those. Yep, that's all good. <coughs> Language. Oh, here we go, subtitles on. And we're in Anglais. Oh, by the way, that's Rob. Um, I think he's only in this game. But yeah, and you, you should know all the other characters and Star Fox. There's like Peppy and Slippy and stuff. Falco's not in this game. He left. But that should be explained at some point in this game. Ah, crap. Cover off my GameCube WaveBird controller fell off. Put that back in there. And empty slot. Okay. No, uh, where's... Okay, we'll go this way. V... Two. There we are. End. Star Fox Adventures is loaded. Now, I've actually played this game in ages. I played this game once through when it when I got it, which was like 2004 I got it. <clears throat> so yeah. From the depths of space, a girl named Crystal searches for the truth of her parents' death. Finding herself within a lost corner of the Lilith system, she receives a description. Aw, oh, what? That was nowhere near enough time. I mean, I know I didn't start immediately, but come on. Anyway, Blue Chicks Crystal, and that's a Cloud Runner. I also love to work out touch go your joke. I tell what Jim okay at your equal mid coat. She's speaking dinosaur language. A mountain hidden in a storm. Oh no, great danger! Oh shit! Is that the great danger? Your Shaku! Oh crap! You should go get your Shaku! Oh, that looks menacing. Holy shit, that's much bigger than what than us. And that's not a typical dinosaur. That's a fucking That's a that's a shit. This is so a copy of the Mario spaceships. Oh, I feel ripped off now. And those are massive blades. And here we go! Let's start! Urgh. Ah! Anyway, this is the first intro sequence of the game. You don't really have any heart, so it doesn't matter if you get hit or anything, which is kind of weak or whatever. They're probably just too lazy to put it to animate a death scene for this sequence, so they're freaking fuck you can't die. Unless you can die, you just have to get hit a lot to die. So basically, fire, kill the ship! Wait, is that one dead or not? I think it is. There we go. Yes, it is. Spare me! Oh, I got hit. Oh no, whatever will I do? I think this is also just supposed to be practicing for the Arwen segments of this game. Which, by the way, do exist. So, no need to worry if you are a massive Arwen fan. They, those do exist in this game. They're few and far between, but there are some in this game, so no need to fret is the general gist of the message I'm trying to get across. Oh crap! Run at me, bro! Oh shit, it's a massive fireball! Ah! Die! Oh. Pussy! Pussy! Come back here! Come back here, pussy! I 
I can't turn around, so come here. Why is there so much rain and lightning? Is anything happening now? I like how the, I like how on the um pop, like the button things it just says Y. Right? NB doesn't actually say it does anything, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, did I win? Oh, yeah, I won. Now the dinosaur ship's on fire. He ships on fire. Oh, that was my, that was me. Sorry. You ain't here. I'm gonna go be hot. What? Who said that? Wait, did you just tell him to leave? No, no. You're on a, you're on a flying ship in the, in the middle of the sky. How do you plan on getting down? Because I wouldn't try landing this thing. Your adventure begins. I thought the adventure began when we were shooting everything. Okay. Your adventure begins. Use the analog stick to move crystal around the galleon. Gloom, uh, gl gloomy galleon? No. Press L to sense the camera behind crystal. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear a voice. Try finding the source of that voice. Spoiler. Okay. Is the voice here? No. Can I control the ship? No. Wouldn't trust landing this thing, it's on fire. Oh, I heard a squeaking sound somewhere. Oh, I want the Shaku back. I can find things. Whoa, you're moving. I hear a voice. No, it's not coming from there. It's coming from here? No. F fire? Are you talking to me, Fire? Are you alive? You show all the signs of life, Fire, but yes, you are not alive. So you're probably not the thing talking to me. And you don't, I don't think fire makes squeaking sounds. Oh look, hello. When the A appears, check the A display. This will tell you what A can do at that time. Okay, so A, wait. A has appeared, so I check the A display and telling me that I can, okay, I can talk. By pressing A, you are able to talk to me. How did you, how, wait, is that dinosaur saying that? How did you know? Oh my god! This dinosaur knows that video games exist. When A appears again, check the display as this button can do many different things. Hey, the door opened. Did you do that? Because if so, then how come you can't get out of your cage? Just do your magic mind trick thing and open the cage door. Fine. Fuck you then. So was it one of these doors back here that opened? Yes, it was. Let's go down here. Run! Wow, this I've just I'm not used to the way that you move in this game, so might take. Oh, look a key. It's shiny. Should we pick it up? Yeah. Oh, I love this sequence. Every time you get a new item in this game, it shows this sequence. Item get. This is a key from the Grizzawa Palace. When you pick up an item, dot 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 dot, it will be placed in your C inventory. Move C in any direction to display your inventory. Then push C left or right to rotate you. Uh, too many buttons, even though it's all on the same stick. Too much information. Each slot will hold different types of objects. So, okay, that's a gold key, that's a nothing, and that's a nothing. And that's a gold key. Okay, well, let me use it. Whatever, fine. Let's go upstairs. That's not upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs. Nah. I have to go back the way I came? Oh. Oh, that is so gay. Yeah, I'm back up here. Hey, get, get out of my white box. Can I go talk to you again? Apparently not. Use your mind trick to open the door! Oh crap, did that, oh, did that dinosaur open that door? Oh, what's up? What's up, hookhand? General Scales. No, Crystal. Ruler, Tyrant, Dictator. No, I'm, I'm Crystal. Oh, oh, you're, oh, you're talking in third person. Oh, okay. I just blow up your ship. I'm not here to fight you. I'm just here to set fire to your ship. A distress call? The whole planet is in distress. The way you walked out of is on fire. I'm starting to think it's not me that's causing the fire, it's you. The evil general. You're not evil. You have horns on your hand, your head, and you have an evil, deep voice. 
Hell, hell more. Typically evil, do you need to be before someone can consider you evil? Yeah, you're useless, Crystal. I didn't challenge you, I ran at you. What are you doing? Don't do it! Oh. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, we lived! Yay! Yeah, see, one of someone this dinosaur, I have infinite health, so stiff shit, general scales. Shaduk? Wasn't that the name of the star? Okay, apparently Shaduk is the stress signal or something. Oh, Shakur was the star. If you go inside, be very careful. They're all speaking in our dinosaur language. Now, if you have the instruction book, the instruction manual, which I lost many, many years ago, it actually ha tells you how to speak dinosaur language. It's not so much, it's like, it's English, but it's just a simple, like, um, cipher shifting letter thing, like, although I don't think it's shifted, I think just each letter is translated to another letter, it's not like a shifting, but every letter it just represents a different letter, and you just change it like that and then talk. Anyway, I have arrived at Crizella Palace. Cool. <coughs> What's with the floating octopus that's glowing? When you want to save your game, <coughs> you must have a memory card inserted in the slot. Hey. Uh, yes, I do. Press the button. I know it's start button, but just it's, it's it's just weird to see a white circle to pause the game and display the save quit options. Highlight the required option by moving. I can't move. I mean, cut. Oh, dot dot dot. I always stick left or right, then press A to select. Don't forget that you can save at any time. Really? Cool. I'm gonna save right now. Save. Yes. Yay. And with that, I'm actually gonna pause it here because my video camera that I use to record my voice is running out of tape. It's a cassette tape. Shut up, I'm old fashioned and poor. So, on the next episode, we shall continue exploring Cruzella Palace, and by continue, I mean start. So, until then, this is version two, signing out.